Hi y'all, it's Constance again. I am back with another Thread Up unboxing, Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing, and today it is jeans. I have lots of jeans here, and actually, I guess technically this is not an unboxing, but I'll kind of get into that in a minute why I decided to go ahead and unbox it before I started filming. So um, before I start though, I did want to just say again, thank you guys all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really have enjoyed making these videos for you guys and just getting the thread up boxes, honestly. So it's just been a really good time for me and kind of an outlet for my job right now, which um, if you don't know me already, I am a second grade teacher full time and it's just been a really, really, really rough year. So yeah, this has just been kind of my fun at the end of the day. So um, I am wearing actually a Pink Floyd t-shirt and I got this in my Thread Up t-shirt rescue box, which I, if you, I'll try to make sure I'll link it down below, but um, that box, there was several things in it that my family got to keep and it was only, I think $36 total shipped to my door. So it was really fun. I my favorite, I like this one, but my favorite one in there was a Rails like leopard print V-neck t-shirt, which was my size. It was so cute. It was originally $88 and it was like in excellent condition. So um, yeah, it was a really good box for me. I was super happy about that one. Um, yeah, so uh, back to the jeans. I got the 50 pound denim rescue box. I have only gotten the... Um, 30 pound one before. So this is only my second denim box actually. And the, the other one had a lot of like decent stuff in it. So that's why I was like, okay, let me just get the 50 pound. After I unboxed that last denim box and I went back through it, there were quite a few things that I thought were like super like amazing finds and super amazing like resale items. And they just were too flawed for me to list them. So I was a little disappointed and I thought this would be a better way for me to like show you guys what was in these boxes. Um, now that I've gone through everything and I've kind of separated into like one box is things I'm gonna list and then another box is all the things that I'm gonna donate. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through all the decent, the things that I am planning to list at this moment first. And then I'll, at the end, I'll just kind of run through the things that I got that wasn't so wasn't so good yeah and I I'm really happy like I'm really happy with these denim boxes so if you're kind of looking for something that's not a huge investment that you want to start reselling denim yeah I don't know I've even I haven't even listed I think everything from the last box and I'm pretty sure I've already made my money back so just with like some Joe's jeans and something else I can't remember I can't remember exactly but Anyway, so I'll go ahead and get started and let you guys see this. Um, also, in case you're wondering, like behind me, this is like the corner of my bedroom where I do my, where I take my pictures and like all this is like eBay, like photo, like photo taking like different things that I need, just like lint rollers and baby wipes and all that stuff that I use. And yeah, so everything, here's my light. Um, everything is kind of just in this corner of my bedroom and I, one day, I hope to have a dedicated space, but right now this is this is how it is. So, okay, back to denim. Um, okay, first box, these, again, these are things I'm going to list. So first thing is a denim jacket. And this is pretty, a pretty, like possibly vintage, like this is an older item, but it is polo jeans, actually. And it does have like quite a bit of just like natural wear. I don't think it was supposed to be like that. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to list this. I think I should be able to get it like maybe like 30 bucks for this. So yeah, not bad. It is a size medium. Next, we have a pair of Fashion Nova. So... Now, normally, would I pick up Fashion Nova at the thrift store? No, but because I've already owned it, and I did look up this style. It had the style name in, inside, I believe. Seek and Destroy Jeans, size 9. Um, yeah, I think I could get, like, something for these, like, maybe, like, $15 or something. So, since since I own them already, I, I'll list it to get $15. Next, we have... 
Next we have, these are just a pair of Gap, but they were in good condition. With some distressing, they're the Gap Easy Leggings. So I did, I'm not, they're size four or size 27. I'm not a big fan of listing Gap. Like I would never like see Gap at the thrift store and, and think I need to get it or list it. But I did look these up and it does seem like I could make something on them. So next is a pair of J. Crew, and it is the Slim Boyfriend Jean. With the raw hem, some distressing, a lighter color, and it is a size 28, which is great size. So yeah, so I will definitely get these listed. They seem to be like, I didn't see any, you know, any pulling or puckering or anything like that. So happy about that. Next item is a pair of Levi's curvy boot, and they are size, oh, they're five, five, 5.29, they're size eight. So, there's plain, no distressing, and here's the back. So I will list Levi's as long as they're in good condition. Next, and I don't know if I said how much I paid for this, but it was $50 plus, I think plus shipping and tax. So maybe around $60 was the total price I paid. Um, next item, what were these? Oh, these are Topshop and these are Topshop and they actually had also had the the name of them or their Topshop Moto size 26 length 30 but I looked these up actually they don't look like length 30 but maybe they are um I looked these up and they did seem to sell so yeah I'll list those Next item, oh, this was, this was a super random, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, if you see, there's like a, on the back, there, it's like a star. And there's like a flag right here. And they are like a flare or boot cut. Um, the brand is Revice, Revice, I don't know. And they're size 26 and they're in good condition. I don't see anything wrong with them, but these are, I think on the website still for, they're on sale, I think for like 59, something like that. And, um, they, quite a few pairs have sold. So for like the 50, 40, 50 and more range. So yeah, I mean, even if I put these for, if I list these for 40 and get something for them, never heard of it, but. Next item is a pair of shorts. They're black shorts. I don't know the brand. Oh, they're just like H&M, like the Ann Denim. Regular waist shorts, size eight. So I thought they were cute. It's a perfect time for them with summer coming up. So I will definitely list those. And honestly, like, I don't know. I'll show you the, if you haven't seen this before, this little Ann sign. I don't know if you can see it on the button. There's like a little, and it's, it's, it's got a fancy name and I don't even know it, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so I have listed a few men's items with that from my last rescue box and there's been quite a bit of interest. Not, they're not expensive, but I mean, just people, you know, watching them and stuff. So I don't know. Um, the next item is Universal Thread. It's a pair of like raw hem shorts, black. They are size six. These feel like they're in new condition. Um, I have listed quite a few Universal Thread items and I haven't sold any, I haven't had much interest in them. So I, I'm gonna list these, but I don't know. People say these Universal Thread does pretty well for them, but I haven't had such luck, so. Next item. This is, this is weird, but they were selling. So this is a pair of pajama jeans. 
and they are size X, no size large. And they feel like really like new condition. So I think I should be able to get $15 for these. They're also like a boot cut. I don't know if you can see, but they are like a boot cut style. Next, we have just a pair of American Eagle. These are Slim Straight Men's 2830. I do think these are like an older, an older pair. Here's the back. But they're just no distressing, just simple, plain pair of jeans. So I will get those listed. Next is a pair of Joe's jeans. Like I said, I, I sold, I just, cause I just shipped them today. They were a pair of Joe's jeans. I think I paid, I think somebody bought them for like 19 or 20 and I did get them in my last rescue box. So um, I will gladly list Joe's jeans, even if it's only for, you know, a small amount. So here they are, they're, they're pretty small. But they have the raw hem. Here's the back. They are a size 24. So these might not be, the other ones were a size 31. So that's okay. These are, these are a newer style, like high waist. So. Oh my gosh, this is another super weird pair of jeans. Like it's, Kind of fun just getting these boxes and like looking at these random brands y'all i will try to make sure i'm going to put a picture in of what these jeans look like on and like from from their website the brand is it's like j i n g j i n g i don't know their size medium medium but on each side, they have this cutout. They're like a wide leg, like loose fit, but they have these cutouts on each side. And you can tell because they're like sewn up, you can tell that like that's how they're supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know. But as strange as they are, this brand, I did see some things sold from this brand when I was just looking, comp, looking up comps. So I'm, it's worth a shot, it's worth a shot. Super random. Next is just a pair of men's Levi's. They are 550s, 31, 36, 31. Just plain, like more like a vintage. Like these are like the heavy, these feel like heavy and thick. Um, so yeah, so I'm sure men, I love selling men's Levi's. Next, these feel like denim, but I don't know. I mean, I guess they're denim. They are just a elastic waist pull on, but they are soft surroundings. And I have good luck selling soft surroundings like bigger sizes and, and whatnot. These probably, I would say these are probably like a size medium, maybe a large. I don't know. But they're just a plain pant. So I will sell those. This, these did not have a size. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna do measurements and see if I can figure out the size or just put measurements in. This, this one, I don't know if I'm gonna list these or not, but somebody actually did tell me, one of you guys um, about like refuge jeans, like to, that they can sell those pretty easily. The last ones in the last box I got, I did get a pair similar to this and they were too, like the front was too messed up. Um, but these are like a flare and high, like high waisted double button. I don't know. High, yeah. High rise. Um, so they seem like possibly like a newer, they feel new. Um, so yeah, refuge. I didn't show you that. They are size four. Next pair of shorts. These are just H and M shorts, but Perfect time to list them and they do seem like a good size, size 30. So I will get those listed. Next, another pair of Levi's. These actually, I remember, it's been maybe it's been a couple of years ago, but these were super popular and were going for a lot of money. Um, but these are Levi's women's, they're the wedgie skinny. Wedgie skinny. So I've never actually gotten a pair of these. 
Um, but even though they're not as, you know, not much of a resale value like they used to be, I still think I can get at least 30 or so dollars for them. Oh, I didn't tell you what size, did I? Size 29. Next is a pair of Lucky Brand, size 14, their bigger size, which is good. So here they are. They do look like they're kind of a lower rise. And the sweet and low crop, sweet and low crop. But I did look up that style and there were some solds. So I will try. Next item is a jacket, denim, kind of a denim. I don't know what kind of jacket this is, like a bomber jacket, but it's just real lightweight. On the back, it says New York. And the brand is Sisono, size, size small. And I did look this up and there were some solds. So do I, I don't think I'll be able to get a whole lot for it, but I will list it. And this is the last pair of the items that I picked out to possibly list. This, this was actually a really good find too. These are a pair of Judy Blue. And I don't even know where you buy Judy Blue jeans. I have no idea. Of course, I'm a second grade teacher, so I think of Judy, Judy Bloom, Judy Moody. But yeah, here's Judy Blue. They are the relaxed fit, size 27 or size 5. So yeah, these, I think I should be able to get at least $40 for, the, for these. So, so just real quick, I want to see how many I'm planning to list. One, 21. Okay, 21 items. So minimum, even just say minimum, I profit $10 per jean, or I sell them for $10 each. Minimum, because I'm sure some of those will sell for way more. Um, I mean, that's 20 $210 so and I only spent less than 60 so not not mad about that um so yeah so that's all the good stuff so if you want to stick around and look at this stuff that's not so good that's where I'm going next ah. okay I'll try to go I'm gonna try and go through these quickly first one was just a pair of lucky brand these, they're, I can't remember. There must have been something wrong with them. Uh, honestly, now I've already forgotten. It's been a few days. They do, they have, they do have some puckering in the front. So, I'm not going to list those. Here's a pair of Wrangler, like some old vintage-y looking Wrangler jeans. I did look these up and it didn't seem like I was going to be able to sell them for much. So, pass on those. Here's another pair of Lucky Brand. Sweet and straight. These smell, these don't smell good, but I can't remember exactly what was, oh, these just have a lot of wear. Yeah, that's it. So like in the, in the crotch area, just really worn and they smell bad. Um, a pair of Children's Place, size five. Pair of American Eagle little shorts, but these are just super like a lot. They're like pretty old. They have paint on them. I'm guessing the paint is supposed to be there. Maybe not. I don't know. I just because they're so low rise, they remind me of like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, next one is just so, which is from Coles, a jegging size three. Okay, another pair of Children's Place jeans. This is the right, I did have two of these, right? Yeah, so I have two pairs of size five, but they're just like really, I mean, really worn, so I won't do anything with those. This one is Articles of Society. I don't remember what was wrong with these, but I'm not, some of these I might have just looked them up and I didn't see like decent comps or 
good enough comps for me to list them. Like if I, if there weren't a lot of solds, like I'm just kind of like, I don't even bother. This is a pair of Loft Outlet and they are zero petite modern cupped prop. So these didn't have, I mean, zero petite. Next is Wild Fable, Highest Rise Flare. So yeah, these are in good condition. See, some of this stuff like this, I kind of feel like if it wasn't about to be summer and I could take it to Plato's Closet or something, but I don't even know if it's worth it. This is a pair of American Eagle and these did have like the puckering on the front but they're just like a, a jegging, I think, jegging crop. So, yep, don't do anything with those. Here's a pair of Calvin Klein, and these are like super worn. They feel soft, but yeah, I'm not gonna do anything with those. These had quite a bit of the puckering also in the front. Next is a pair of Old Navy super worn size six petite this is a pair of this had no brand just a pair of jean shorts but even the buttons didn't have like anything just stars on them so if anybody knows anything about these let me know but no size no tags actually there's a tag here Oh, these are Urban Outfitters, but yeah, I don't know. Next is Waxed Jeans. I don't even think I looked these up, but nope. Next, D Jeans, white, really see-through. Like these are so thin, so thin. This is pair of express I don't know what style they are or anything but I didn't even look them up because of the puckering in the front it's hard to see but pair of Mossimo high right or mid-rise jegging I don't even think I looked those up this is a pair of Croft and, Bar Croft and Barrow, size four, but they have pineapples, but they're like a longer short, Bermuda short. I've never really sold anything Croft and Bar Barrow, but I see it at the thrift store all the time, all the time. Uh, this is a pair of Joe's jeans, petite boot cut, size 25. don't this does have some puckering but like the tag is falling off they're just you can just see that they're pretty worn like through here just like super worn so I think there's like even a stain on them I can see it more in the camera but ugh, I don't know Gosh, we have all there's a lot more guys I'm sorry this is a pair of song jeans. I don't know if anybody knows anything about these. Yeah, no idea. This is a pair of Sam Edelman, the stiletto, but these did have a lot. So here's Sam Edelman. And then in right here, they just had a lot of, of puckering. Oh, guys, sorry, my legs are falling asleep. This is another Articles of Society, and these feel just, like, super worn. So. Here's a pair of kids' Old Navy, size 7. A pair of Riders, um, Riders by Lee. So these, I, I've sold a pair of these recently, um, this exact pull on like like Lee jeans, Riders by Lee. 
um, but these actually had some puckering and they just didn't look as in good of condition. So right through here, there's puckering. Um, yeah, so I passed on those. And actually these were the ones that had been like hemmed and they were dirty on the bottom. <sighs> Another pair of Mossimo size 10 high rise short with some cute, see these are ones, maybe I should take them to Play-Dohs and set them aside. Next one is the is Taylor jeans. I've never heard of these, but I think I, I think I looked these up. I don't remember, maybe not. They're kind of a lower rise though. These are super dirty and they're BDG. So I think BDG is that buckle or I don't remember, but like they're dirty and I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a size, maybe if I'm... Yeah, I don't even see a size on these. I don't see a size or any tags on the inside. Nothing. And they smell weird. Oh, it's a skirt actually. Is it a skirt? No, this is suit. This is weird. I just want to show you guys this. So, um, it's a skirt, but like it was actually shorts, I believe, and they like sewed them up to make a skirt. So yeah, definitely donating that. This is Airpods. I always say this wrong. It's um, just jegging. I honestly did not even look these up. They're from 2015, so I'm quite sure nobody's probably looking for them. Here's a pair of STS Blue. STS Blue, here's a pair of jean shorts. I don't know STS Blue, honestly, so maybe I'll put those in the Play-Doh's pile. Vigos, Vigos jean shorts. I guess I'm gonna put those in the Play-Doh's pile also. Here is a pair of super random size medium jeans and all on the button it just says jeans. So definitely not gonna bother with those. This is a pair of tractor, tractor size zero tractor jeans which might be a good brand, but these were just in horrible condition. Horrible, like the whole thing was just puckered and just terrible. This is a pair of, another pair of wax jeans, which I've never looked up, but I'm pretty sure I've, I see these at like TG Maxx or whatever. Another pair of shorts, Old Navy. I think these are kids. Yeah, these are kids. Size, size 10. Kinda cute. Oh. They just threw like jean, legs of jeans in my box. Just two of them. I don't know. Okay, a couple more. So some Gloria Vanderbilt. They're like, like a crop, like a long short or a capri of some kind. And then this is the last pair. A pair of Gap Relaxed Boyfriend. Oh, these, I didn't even look these up or anything because they have paint on them. So, yeah, so these are not going to get listed or sold by me, but probably get taken to Goodwill very soon. So if you see anything that you think I'm crazy, I shouldn't list or I should list or if you, I don't know, just let me know if you have any opinions about any of this because I'm just, you know, pretty clueless most of the time. But um, thanks so much for sticking around and watching until the end. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.